Esports is the online equivalent of competitive sports. First major video game competition for Space Invaders. And you fast forward from there to today, esports finally captured every person in the business imagination was when esports started to fill physical stadiums. And you could actually see for the first time these virtual audiences live buying tickets, buying merchandise, engaging in the same behaviors as traditional sports. There are quite a number of revenue streams in the esports industry, just like the sports industry. So at your most basic level, you have the game maker and selling the game. That would be like your equipment makers like Adidas or Nike selling equipment in the offline world. Your next level of the pyramid, you have semi-professional competition. You have things like crowdfunded competition and companies like Valve, which make Dota 2 selling entry fees into competitions with prize pools. At your peak of the pyramid, you have brand sponsor competition. You have opportunities to sell event tickets, merchandise at those events, merchandise after those events and throughout the year, advertising on the, the viewing of the event digitally. You have brand sponsored opportunities for the teams, for the players, and now also not just players, but social influencers. So social influencers are getting wrapped into some of these brands. One of the common ways that's evolving right now is these influencers and players, when they stream on their own outside of their competitive events, they have like brand banner ads on their web pages where they talk about the sponsors that are involved and why they're affiliated with them. The way a NASCAR driver engages with brands is pretty different from how an NBA player does. So I think what's going to happen in esports is similar to other sports in the sense that brands will engage with these personalities. They'll build affiliations with their audiences, but different in terms of the actual frontline execution. It's almost no wonder that 18 to 25 year olds watch esports more than they do physical sports online. So I'd say accessibility of content would be a big thing. The next step beyond accessibility of content is, well, now you have a connected internet interactive device where people are using that device to engage in your form of media. So the media has to become interactive. One of the things that's amazing about esports is you can talk to the players while they're playing. You can engage with the broadcasters while they're broadcasting. It's not a Twitter feed anymore, it's like a real-time dialogue where people are engaging back and forth. And, and it's part of the media experience where you're actually watching a feed and a chat room that's changing as the broadcasters are talking. We're in 2018 and 10 years from now, we're probably playing VR-based experiences in a mass society level. Esports may transcend from being clickable computing games to th experiences where you're actually running around a warehouse powered by a a computer that might be in your pocket or might be attached to your clothing.